What's up everyone, Zeph Films here with a visual review video. Uh, in this one we're going to be taking a look at the uh, the new anniversary ship that's uh, coming out for the Star Trek Online 9th anniversary, the Vulcan Tapau Scout Ship. It's a tier 6 ship that you can get through uh, daily events and uh, you uh, you collect the uh, prize vouchers from doing the, uh, the Omega... Um, shard scanning thing i can't remember what it's called exactly once you have a thousand then you get the ship on all of your uh on all of your characters uh so really quick we're just going to take a look at a uh, basic lay of the land here that's a 3-3 science ship uh it does have a slot for a secondary deflector as do many other science ships it comes with a universal console called uh, rebounding resonant frequencies Having this console slotted will give you plus 3.3% maximum hull capacity and plus 20.3 Star Trek hull pen. This also does, uh, when this is activated, uh, it reflects 33.75% of the damage dealt by the target targeted foe back to themselves uh, with 50% shield penetration. Cannot critically hit and it's got a 2 minute recharge. So cool little thing. Uh, taking a look at the mastery, we have emergency response team, secondary shielding plus buff on shield depletion. When any shield facing becomes depleted, you get plus 36,237.5 secondary shields for 30 seconds, maximum once every 60 seconds. While secondary shields persist, uh, when activating any science or intelligence bridge officer abilities, you get plus... Uh, 5,625 hit points and plus 1,800 shield regen applied once to each uh, facing. Uh, I should also let you know that this is in Tribble and all of these results or all these numbers are subject to change. <laughs> uh, taking a quick look at the bridge seating. Uh, so up at the very top we have a Lieutenant Commander Universal slash Intel Station. Uh, beside that we have a Lieutenant Commander Universal Station. Then we have a Lieutenant Universal Station, uh, Ensign Universal Station, and then a Commander Science Station. So you can do, <laughs> you, you, have, uh, you have some options to how you want to uh, outfit this ship. I don't have any build advice for this just yet. I actually have not used it. Uh, all I have really done with it is done the cinematic stuff that you may have seen in my latest uh, Fresh Out of Space Talk video. If you haven't seen that, please go check that out now and uh, let me know what you think. But uh, for now, we're going to dock at Earth Space Dock and take a look at the, uh, um, the ship visualization tailor. All right, so here we are in the ship tailor on ESD uh, templates. As you can see, there's only one uh, for scout ship. Uh, ship interior is just your generic uh, starship interior. Uh, nothing really special to it. Uh, windows, we don't really have any options for windows. And materials, we have type 1, type 2, and upgrade. Uh, this, when I unboxed it, was defaulted to the type 2. Uh, type 1 looks like that. Which actually, I kind of like that. I really actually do like that a lot. And let's take a look at the upgrade. Upgrade actually doesn't look too bad either. And then the Type 2 is your your default from uh, the uh, Star Trek Discovery show. Uh, but let me know in the comments what, uh, what material type you're going to rock when you finally get this ship in uh, Star Trek Online. Uh, but we're going to jump to the next part, which is going to the Dyson Sphere and taking a look at the ship. Uh, visualizations for this ship and we're gonna be defaulting on uh, type 2 for this so see you at the Dyson Sphere all right so here we are in the Solanae Dyson Sphere uh, this is the area where I like to do all the visual reviews because we have nice even lighting all over the entirety of the ship and that's actually the real only reason why we're here so uh, yeah we're going to jump right into the uh, the first shield effect here and these are all the rep shields, by the way. So we're starting off with the gamma rep shield, which gives it that purple tone. I typically don't like the gamma rep because it's just too much purple. Uh, but at the same time, it kind of actually goes with this ship a little bit. Not entirely bad. Uh, the competitive rep uh, shield. I believe this is the prevailing uh, inhibited shield array. 
pretty cool shield, actually. I actually kind of like that effects on it. The Lucari shield array. That's a lot of Tron. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I, I can think of a couple of people who would actually like this uh, shield effect. Um, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's actually really cool. I like that. <laughs> the Temporal Defense Shield Array. Um, a little bit of rainbow, uh, effects here and there, but, uh, kind of suits the ship as well. Also, if you're wondering why, um, like, the pathing for this, like, this ship is not smooth. I'm not doing this in demo record. I'm doing this in game with uh, FOV of 20 and I'm just using my mouse to look around the ship. So I do apologize for the unsmoothness, but uh, for me personally, this is just a little bit quicker. I spend too much time in demo record as it is. On to the next shield. The Delta Alliance shield array. That looks pretty awesome, if you ask me. I like that a lot. The Jem'Hadar shield array. Kind of like the Gamma, just a little bit toned down on the purple. But all in all, not too bad. Not my favorite, but not bad. The Riemann shield array. This shield effect might actually look different for you if you're on lighting uh, 1.0. Uh, I'm currently on lighting 2.0, so that's why this might look like this. <laughs> the Aegis shield array. I actually don't notice too much different. Like, there's a little bit of blue accenting on the side from the Aegis, but... And a little bit in the engine. And a little bit there. But other than that, there isn't really too much added to the ship from the Aegis. The Dyson Shield Array. Dyson, I find, is kind of hit or miss. Uh, on this ship, it's 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 a miss for me. It might not be for other people. They might you might like this. Uh, for me, it's I don't know. It's just too bland, I guess. Maybe because there's not much ship. For you to really appreciate it like this is a small ship but yeah anyway next shield the mako shield array so pretty much the same uh skin texture but this one gives that little bit of extra like shininess to the hull uh i like to call it a carbon fiber look <laughs> uh but other than that not too much changed oh and a little bit of honey coming here this is where it really looks like uh carbon fiber right there um, yeah, not too bad, but nothing really standing out for me on this one. The Nakura Shield Array. Uh, this one, no, I personally don't like. There's just, uh, for me, there's just too much noise here on the nose and on the other, on the underside here. Um, it just, it looks like an old graphic for me. Um... We do have a little bit of change in the engine shields here, and the light around the uh, the ship itself has gone from white to yellow. Um, but the uh, the effects itself, like these sections here, just make it look like uh, like the shields from like the early days of Stowe. The counter command shield array. This one is actually not bad. I kind of like this one. It's got three different colors that kind of all contrast with each other nicely um yeah this one looks pretty sleek not too many complaints about this one actually the omega shield array i uh, kind of like the mako shield array this one hasn't really added too much uh there's some extra uh details here on the um in on the recess parts of the actual hull um and the skin looks a little bit lighter, uh, but other than that, there's nothing really standoutish about the effects on this one. Uh, you can see there's some extra detail down here. I personally think it looks a little out of place, uh, but this is all subjective, so yeah. 
the Dielectric Oscillating Shield Array, or better known as the shield that you get from the Breen missions. And I'm going to sound like a broken record from other videos, but I hate, hate this shield um, effects. It, this, this is definitely a shield from way back in the day, um, and you can tell. There's just so much noise on the effects of the hull, and yeah, um, no, I, this gets a 1 out of 10 for me. The Terran Task Force Shield Array. Uh, this one I like. Um, I like the dark. It almost looks black, but it's like a really dark chocolate that's on the hull. Um, and then you have your uh, bluish purple lights and yellow light that goes around it. Um, yeah, so the colors actually like, they contrast against each other like so nicely. It's just, this one I like a lot. This one gets a 9 out of 10. Uh, the Romulan Advanced Shield Array. This one looks, uh... I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 10 because I can't decide if I hate it or if I like it. Um... For me personally, the green kind of just does not go with this um, this default color of the ship. Um, it, it just I don't know. It might it might look good for some. For me, I can't decide whether or not I like it or hate it. So yeah, five out of ten. The last shield that I have available is the assimilated shield uh, from the uh, the Borg rep. And, um, hmm. I've never, so just so you know, I've never seen these effects before. This is my first time seeing them. So the reaction that you're getting is like a live me trying to process what I'm seeing and try to express <laughs> what I think of it. Um, there's parts of it that I like. I think there's parts of it I actually don't like. Um, I kind of like this, the light. It goes around. I kind of like that. Um, I think there's... Mm, out of 10, I would have to give this like a 6, six and a half out of 10. Um, it doesn't... It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look great either. Um, I can't put my finger on what I don't like about it, to be totally honest with you. Um, I think it's just... I think it just has to do with the fact that the ship is small, so these graphics are just like really, they don't flow well with the new, the new design flow of ships. I'm not sure if that makes sense. Uh, some of these, like some of these graphics here just look like kind of, uh, like they're, they're zoomed in and then just kind of pasted. Like, it looks like a really bad vinyl job. Um, like, you went to some discount vinyl shop, took your car in, and they just printed your face, but then stretched it over the hood, and now your face looks like Mr. Potato Head. It, it, it's the only way I can kind of, kind of... That's the only metaphor I can think of for this right now. Um, I don't hate it. I kind of like it, um, but I don't love it. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the three-piece Borg set on this ship. So here we are with the engines and the deflector, and this just looks like some sort of crazy Borg monstrosity. Um, if this was assimilated by Borg, I would say that the Borg put too much effort into assimilating the ship. Like it just, it just looks way too, uh, <laughs> way too much. Like you can even tell by this part. Usually this part here is maybe tops a third of the size of like an inch in a cell for a starship um or a starfleet ship um yeah <laughs> uh, i don't know let me know in the comment section below what you think of it you, maybe you like it um again this is just this video is just for the purposes of being able to show you what everything looks like and allowing you to form your own opinion Okay, so I do realize that I am missing, um, I think I'm missing the Bajoran shield. And I do not have any of the tier 6 rep uh, shield visuals. 
Um, I kind of have feelings on that one. Whereas, uh, while I talk about this, we're going to transwarp back to Soul System. Um, so, yeah, I have some feelings on the, the, the vanity shields from the rep. I think it's just kind of like, if you have the resources to get it, then cool. Um, but at the same time, for me to go through it on Tribble, it's just, in my opinion, I don't know, kind of not worth my time i don't want to sound like my t like my time is better than anyone else's but um yeah i just eh, i don't know i don't i personally don't like them it's a lot of work to go through them because a lot of my rep on on triple is still tier five uh i wish there was like a easy way to kind of just go hey <laughs> Da, 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 you're now tier six like I, I wish the progression was a little bit quicker um here we are just above uh, uh the uh enterprise i'm doing this just for uh i wish this wasn't moving so park is fairly close to an excelsior class there's your size comparison uh there's nothing else in sector space there's actually nobody else online either to really do a size comparison but uh, if you wanted to frame a reference there you go uh, it's about it's a little bit shorter than the length of the of the excelsior uh, saucer so that if you're curious on to uh, how how big it is in game there you go um yeah so the vanity shields um it's 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 a lot of clicking and what have you um, to get all these to tier six. I know that the um, the projects quit finish quicker uh, in Tribble, but um, I'm just I'm just gonna find the link to uh, what Ambassador Kale had put together of the images, and I'll have a link to that photo down in the description below if you want to see what the ship looks like with the vanity shields. Um, I think that just might be easier. But uh, that's going to be it for this video. I want to thank you very much for tuning in and watching. I know this one was a little bit longer. I uh, was a little bit long-winded in some parts. Uh, if you haven't watched the Fresh Out of Space Dock video for this uh, scout ship, uh, I'll have the link for it at the, uh, the end of this video. And that's it. If you're new here, subscribe. If you enjoyed this, hit that like button. Let me know what you think of the shield effects uh, down in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.